Today we're going to be taking a look at the best roof rack options available for your 2016 Subaru Crosstrek. Now once you click on the roof rack options for your vehicle, these are going to be the top three roof racks. At the top we're going to have the Rhino Rack SX Series roof rack system consisting of part numbers RRVA118B-2, those are the Vortex Aero crossbars, and part number RRSX005, and these are the SX Series legs for the Vortex Aero crossbars. Next we have the Thule Crossroad roof rack system consisting of part numbers THARB53, these are the Thule Aeroblade load bars, and part number TH450R, and these are the Thule Rapid Crossroad Roof Mounted Railing Foot Packs that come with that. And finally, we have the Yakima Timberline Roof Rack System, consisting of part numbers Y00408, and these are the round 48 inch crossbars, and part number Y03536, these are the round bar SL adapters for the Yakima Baseline, Skyline, Timberline, and Ridgeline towers. And finally, part number Y00147, and these are the Timberline Towers for the Yakima Crossbars. Now, as far as differences between these three roof racks are concerned, the most obvious is the Yakima rack has the round bars, while your Thule and Rhino racks have the aero bars. Now, there are advantages to having the aero bars, just because it can actually cut down on wind noise and drag while you're driving, as opposed to the round bars. The second difference between these bars is going to be the Rhino Rack up here, which actually clamps to the sides of your factory race side rails, as opposed to the Thule and Yakima, which have these rubber coated steel straps that will wrap around your factory race side rails. Now while all three roof racks come with their tightening tools, the Thule roof rack actually has it integrated with the foot pack itself. And finally, with the Rhino Rack and the Thule, they have these strips at the top which can be removed so you can use T-Track accessories with these bars. Now normally you wouldn't put three roof rack bars on here, but for today's purposes we'd like to show you how these actually attach to the vehicle as we mentioned earlier. Now you can see with the Thule and the Yakima, you can see how that strap comes up underneath and connects to both. And again we just wanted to point out how the Yakima actually just clamps around both sides as opposed to underneath. Also how to tighten it down, there's the screw on the inside here. In conclusion, when looking at these three roof racks, the best for aerodynamics is going to be your Vortex Aero and your Thule Aero Blade load bars. As far as carrying capacity is concerned, the Yakima round bars are actually going to have a little bit of an advantage, as they have a 220 pound carrying capacity, while the two Aero bars have only 165. Although always double check with your vehicle's manufacturer's recommendations for how much weight you can put on your roof. All three of these racks have the ability to be locked, although all the locks are sold separately. Now the two aero bars have a slight advantage over the round bars, as they actually have the ability to carry any T-Track accessories. Now when it comes to ease of installation, the two aero bars have their advantages. However, with the Thule, you are going to have this integrated tightening tool, which can lock, so it means you can take this off and put this on anywhere. Now all three roof racks do have the added advantage of being able to fit on most vehicles that do have factory race side rails. We hope this makes your buying decision easier for your 2014 Subaru Crosstrek. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.